Bodie, Bodie. Come on, Bodie. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Get it. No, no gopher holes, no, 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 no. Let's see what you got going on here, huh? That's a, what? There's something moving down there. Oh, you know what? That's just the shadow, okay. At first I thought I saw something in there. Hey, Bodie, Bodie, ready? Ready? Get it. Hey, no, no, I'm not going to do that. So I think that there's like a bunch of trenches dug over here. Yep. Wow, look at this. So right there, keep following over here. <laughs> My goodness. And then over here. Some more over here. Wow. So I'm guessing that there's a lot of gopher activity in this area. Another hole over there. A couple of small ones over there. So yeah. So there's a lot of gopher activity over in here. Hey. Yeah, I'm talking to you. Don't get comfortable. Bobby. Bobby. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Get it. Good boy, Bodhi. Don't go back to the hole. How do I know you're going to do that, huh? I knew it. There you go. Back in the hole. Ready? 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 Get it. Good boy. Good boy. And of course, he's going to go back to the hole. Did you put that little rope toy in the hole huh little rope hey 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 ready ready get it hey no no drop it i don't even know what that is oh you know what it's a high to a ball and he's trying to chew that hey Hey, hey, ready? Get it. Good boy, Bodie. <laughs> yeah, so it's just Bodie and one other dog in here. Have I ever met your dog before? Okay. What's your dog's name? Boar. Boar? Thor. Thor. Okay. Thor. Okay. Let me see. Is he like a a lab? Hold on. Let me try to guess. A lab and a chow? No. Okay. What is he? He's like super mix. He's um golden, German, and Siberian. A golden. Okay. A golden retriever. German Shepherd and Siberian Husky. Oh, wow, okay. Yeah. Wow. His mom was a mixed one. His dad was a football golden. Oh, wow, okay, okay. Yeah. You know, you know the reason why I thought like a chow is because of the way the snout is. Yeah, yeah. So crooked. <laughs> wow. So, how did you find him? Uh, my aunt's dog it by accident, so... Oh, I see. Yeah. Okay, okay. Took a I see. How old is he? He's three. Oh, he's three? Okay, okay. Oh, yeah, he's a very interesting dog. Is he high energy? Yeah. Oh, okay. Very cool. Well, nice to meet you, Thor. All right, Bodhi, come on.
Baldy, hey, come on, let's go. Baldy, ready? Get it. You want to get it? No. You didn't even bring it back. Baldy, Baldy, get it. No, no. Ready, Bodhi? Ready? Okay, it looks like. <laughs> I thought Thor was going to try to get it. Ready? Get it. I really thought she said four before. That's embarrassing. Hey, no, you're not going after the gophers again. No. No. Okay, so I don't know what he did with... Oh, here it is in the gopher hole. So there's actually... I don't know if you guys will be able to see this. I'll try to show you guys. But hey, move your head. Move your head. There's actually a tunnel, a gopher tunnel. I don't know if you guys can see that at home, but I'm trying to show it to you, but yeah, right up in there. All right. Hey, Bodie, come on. Let's go. Let's go. Ready? Ready? Let's go, get it. Good boy. Okay, so we actually have one more dog in here. It looks like a German Shepherd, but. Thor is a Thor and a Loki. <laughs> I go to places, everybody's got a Loki. Whoa, whoa. Now you got a Thor and a Loki, that's awesome. <laughs> Not really though. Hey Thor. He's big, purebred German Shepherd. Yes, yeah, I rescued really? him. They had him guarding a house. Oh, really? I grew up with short hair pointers. I love it. Oh, okay. I'm a 35 to 50 pound female dog. Okay. And I ended up rescuing this guy. Yeah. Kind of chained up the house. And he looks like he's at least 100 pounds. 105. Oh, 105? Okay. He's probably more on this vacation. Oh, I see. He's been lazy. I see. Well, he, he hasn't been. I have. Yeah, he got some turkey for Thanksgiving. Or? I mean, I've been eating my way across Southern Cal. Oh, Especially I see. My mom and stuff. So, what are you oh, picking nice. this Saturday? Michigan or Ohio State? Or no, it's Michigan or Purdue, right? Oh, you know what? I don't really follow too much college football. It's just like, it's too much. Like, the game is just There's like, too many you'd games, have to watch it all. Much, yeah. yeah, yeah. I used, I used to watch it like when I was like high school age. I'm done but, with it too, yeah, because I, uh, you know, I love the game. Yeah. But it's just going to be so much of a of, of, of a money making publicity, this that. Right. You spend more time watching commercials and be pissed off at the commentators and watching the game. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Years yeah, ago, I yeah. thought it'd be nice to have just a subscription to the stadium. So now, okay, so now the what the players do they get paid or what's going on? Something in college, yeah. Or is I it just their image that they're getting paid something for? Something in their, yeah, you know, like Reggie Bush would have been set. Right. When he was down here, and then right. some of these guys, you know, they have these run, and they get hurt, and it's game yeah, over, yeah. you know. And so if they're able to sell jerseys, and right? Oh, I see. Likenesses with their name, they get I residuals. I see. You know, they get Tebow. Yeah. You know what I mean? Right. Oh yeah, yeah. Who's that? So the so the way that the way that I always felt about it is, I've always felt like the college players shouldn't get paid, but what they should get is, you know, the, like the free room and board. Obviously, because they're making the schools a lot of money. So, free room and board, I guess, like, free food in the cafeteria, that sort of thing. And then, like, if they play, let's say they play for, like, a full season and they get hurt, like, they get, like, a career-ending injury, I feel like their scholarship shouldn't be taken away from them. No, they shouldn't do that. Yeah. But, you know, I think um, when, it when it comes to the uh, 
stuff. These guys should stay with the school for four years, but I think they should have an opportunity any time after to go back and get that degree while they're right. playing football. You know, because right. you're really not treating them well for an education when you're trying to compete at a level that's no different than the NFL level. You know what I mean? Right, right, right. These guys are expected to perform yeah. as yeah. if it's a job. Yeah. And um, I, I was telling my sister the other day that there's a lot of, uh, well, I, maybe I won't say a lot of guys, but there are some guys out there who are playing college football and the schools are in on it too where these guys, they can't even read. No, no, they can't no. even write. They're like at a third grade level. They're graduating they're just, high school. They're, right, they're just passing them through just because they can play football. Mm -hmm. Now my, my sister who works for a university, she's all like, no, it's not happening. I'm like, it's happening. I say, you want to know You want to know more about it? Look up the story of, I believe, Dexter Manley, one of those. I don't know. No, no, I can't no. remember, but one of them, mm -hmm. He could not read. He could not even read a Dr. Seuss but book. But did you know right now, it's pretty much, um, it does, not just the athletes, it's pretty much across the board. Yeah. These kids wow. are reading at a fifth grade level. Right, right. High school. Right. It's wow, wow. But the thing with Dexter Manley, he couldn't even read The Cat in the Hat. Yeah. And he had a, he had a degree, and he couldn't even yeah. read yeah. the paper. I will bet you $5 degree. that if you were to go out and take 90% of these college degrees, other than stamps. Yeah. Yeah. There, there's four years of getting yourself right. in art to go. Right, right, right. <laughs> well, now nowadays, nowadays they let people they let people in the college who have no business being there. They have no. It's just all about the money. Oh, it's to get the money. And yeah. It's to, it's to train these. Because kids. they they know that they're going to get the uh, they know that they're going to get the, the student money loans. Yeah. Anybody can take out loans. Guaranteed. Yet yeah, it's guaranteed money. Yeah, it's a yeah. money laundering scheme. Right, right. The schools. Hey, and hey, <laughs> enough. Unless you're going to find me gold, What's knock it name? off. What's his name? Bodhi, B O D H I. Bodhi, Bodhi. Bodhi, come now. Come on, let's Bodhi. go. Good boy, Bodhi. Good buddy, Bodhi. Looking so, you said you had a few German short hairs in the yeah, past? Yeah, we had pebbles and we had patches. Oh, wow. We had uh, 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 cocoa. Uh huh. Whoa, and then Mocha, mine. Oh, wow. Was a short hair pointer lab kind of mix. Oh, okay. Look at them all. Those are good sizes, bro. All of them. Were they just family pets, or did you use them for hunting too? Yeah, that's yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, I haven't taken them hunting. He just hunts on his own. You what? He just. I haven't taken them hunting. He just hunts on his own. Their instinct, isn't it? And they'll play right. with the ball forever. Oh yeah. Loach. Bodhi, Bodhi, come on this way. Stop panhandling. Come on, Loach. Yeah, so of course, Buddy wants a panhandle. Sorry about that, you guys, if we got too much into the uh, politics of sports, especially college sports. Hopefully, uh, some of you watching weren't offended by that little conversation. So, we got the competing dog park over here. Hey, rope guy, if you were going to open a competing dog park, did you have to do it so close to this one? Well, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> gotta steal business from somewhere. <laughs> you ever went on that side? Where we were on that side? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, when they had this dog park yeah, closed down, cool. and yeah. We're and I'm not, gonna, I'm not gonna say who, but people were like <laughs> busting locks, and I don't know if they had like blow torches, cutting holes, and people were showing up in here, good like, 15 or so people. So you locked this place up? Yeah, it made no sense. I was going to City Hall and telling them, hey, there's no reason for us to be shut down, open air environment. The guy actually agreed with me, yeah. so. Yeah, I mean, it's wide open. And... Well, you were telling me. Bodhi, you can knock it off with the panhandling. Hey, that little RC truck or Jeep, does it still work? Yeah? Oh, yeah? Yeah. 
you won't get it back. <laughs> he'll eat this one off. Yeah, yeah, he will. He'll try to eat it. I mean, he'll run around with it first, like squeaking it. He's going to try to lay down and basically try to take it off. Yeah. Try to take it apart. Oh, does Charlie get cold or what? No, but it's just in case. Oh, I see. What are you? Bodie, I got a ball right here for you. It doesn't squeak, but hey, I can throw it. Bodie, 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 this way. Bodie. Oh, the launcher? Yeah, the launcher. Bodie, come on, this way, let's go, Bodie. Bodie, 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 give it. Oh, are you going to play? Hey, no. Bodie, let's go this way. Come on. Bodie. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Time to wrap the video. Come on, let's go up. Up. Come on, Bodie. No. No. Let's go up. Bodie. No. No. Come on. No. No. Leave it. Leave it. Let's go. Up. Good boy. Five? Oh, you do? Yes, yes. Oh, wow. Do you ever bring it to the dog park? Okay. Okay. Oh, thank you. Thank you. How old was your dog when you brought him? Okay, months, you said? Yeah. Okay, yeah, well, since he's four months, yeah, he, he can get over that fear, definitely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's I just... haven't fixed him yet. I see. Like, oh. Okay, okay, he went okay. Through a bad phase of, like, trying to get on dogs. Oh, really? Uh, At four months? Um, I think it was a little bit older, like, maybe, like, almost a year. Okay. The dog did it to him here. Oh. The one, which was smaller. Yeah. Okay. It was too small for here, I felt. Okay. A little too big for the there. I see. And a little multi got on him. Oh, wow. There, he learned it. Wow. And he got a little curious. I see. I've been wanting to bring him, but I never see any GSP. Yeah, they are kind of rare in this area. And then the thing is that, you know, they require a lot of ex exercise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you know, sometimes people get them and then they realize that they're in over their head yeah, because of the exercise. You know, requirements. He never even, even bringing him, I feel like he never tires out. Exactly. I'm like, maybe when he's older, but I don't think so. Yeah, yeah. Anything he can get his hands on. Bodhi, come this way, this way. Yeah, the key is just to exercise them, vigorous ex exercise. If you can, at minimum five days a week, better if it's six or seven days a week. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. I think I'm going to get him fixed and then um, start bringing him after okay. work. I'm a dog okay. groomer, so. Oh, really, really. You know what? Another thing that's really good. So how old is he? I believe he's three or four now. Months. No, years. Years? Okay. Okay. He's perfect a then. Big boy now. Yeah. Look into, uh, do you have a bicycle? No. No. Okay. Get him on there. And run, uh, uh, get a walkie dog. Oh, what's that? Okay. So that's an attachment that hooks up to your bike. Mm -hmm. And then get a harness. Hey, no, no. Leave it. Bodie, leave it. Okay, so get a, get a harness for your dog, like one with padding, like a pulling harness, yeah. and then hook the walkie dog up to it, and then take him on the bike. Oh. The nice thing about it is that, that it connects to your, your bicycle post, oh, okay. 
So both your hands are on, on the oh, bike? Oh. Yeah, yeah. And then like supposedly the dog can't knock you over as long as you're over 100 pounds. And then like wherever you go, they have to go. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, but that would be perfect. And see like with my dog, he pulls me the entire time while I'm yes. on the bike. And that's great exercise for He him. pulls me walking. And we recently got, uh, okay. not recently, but we worked on getting the prone collar, which right. I cannot walk him without it. Oh, <laughs> yeah, the yeah, The prone yeah. collar is missing. He's not going on a walk because right. he will take me on the walk. Right. But definitely look into the walkie dog. The nice walkie thing about dog. it, too, is that, say, you could do, like, 10 or 15 minutes on the walkie dog. And, and that's, like, well, it's, like, 10 or 15 minutes on that walkie dog is, like, the equivalent of, like, a five-mile walk. Oh, wow. Yeah, because... And then you're They're not getting running. too tired either because you're... Exactly, especially since you say he's a puller. If you pull him up on the walkie dog, he's probably he's probably going to pull you the entire way. And, like, you know, I'm, I'm sure you weigh over 100 pounds. So he's pulling your weight and the bike's weight. And that's great exercise for him. He's going to get all that energy out. And he's going to listen better. He's going to be calm. All of that stuff. That's good. Yeah, I yeah. need to try that. <laughs> I need to yeah. try that. He has too much energy. Yeah. And then we tried the uh, e-collar on him too. Uh, yeah, he did okay with it. Yeah, so the reason why I'm filming is because my dog has a YouTube channel. Oh, really? So if, if you go on there, uh, <gasps> oh, if you check out, there's a video. I think it's titled, How I Prepare My Dog, or Prepare My Dog for 4th of July Fireworks. Oh. Okay. And you'll see me, I'm, I'm biking him with the walkie dog. Oh, okay. Yeah, He's so you terrifying. can see it in action. <laughs> Is he well, he doesn't like it, but if you exercise your dog like vigorously before those fireworks, it will okay, calm yeah, them yeah. down like a lot. It's better than like medication. Hey, knock it off. He's just go for crazy right now. Does he have no. uh, dirt at home? Oh uh, yeah, he has a backyard. Oh, okay. It's a backyard. Hey, no. I feel no. like if I had backyard like i have a backyard but cement so i feel like maybe oh, mine would dig yeah. up holes too yeah see he has Anything um he has like if, if he loves the swimming pool so he has okay. a kiddie pool right now oh, it's good. put away because it's cold right but during the like summer and stuff i have the yeah. kiddie pool and he he doesn't like water okay like, i turn on the water hose he'll run okay but he likes if the swimming you know what there. so mine mine in the beginning didn't like water like spraying water uh -huh. He would run like yours. Uh -huh. Now he likes to chase the water. Oh, okay. And he likes to try to bite the water. He? He's five. He's five. Yeah, yeah. So the fact the fact that you said that he'll run from the water. Yeah, he like hiding in the corner. He's like, uh, no. So will he run like all over the place trying to get away from it? Yeah. Okay. As long as he's not like terrified of it. I think he's terrified just because. Uh, oh, really? Back in the day, my uh, boyfriend's dad yeah. used to kind of punish him with water. Oh, went, no. I know. I oh, had no. to tell him to stop. I'm like, don't do that. Oh. It's because he went through a really bad stage, like barking, barking oh, all the yeah. time, all hours of the day, wow. barking, barking, barking. The neighbors yeah. would complain a little and be like, hey, like, is he okay? He barked no. all night. Body come. They Body come now. All night. Um, this one's mine. Okay, is it okay if I show him? Yeah. Yeah, very cute. What's his name? Whiskey. Whiskey, okay. Yeah, he's a big boy. Wow. He's actually a little bit bigger. He's not that. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> what? Uh, do you want to share his Instagram? Yeah, it's Whiskey. Let's see. This is his Instagram. Okay, let me see if I can get that through the fence. If you could read it, maybe. It's Whiskey underscore L-O-C. Okay. <laughs> All right, so hey, check out Whiskey's Instagram. I like that slow motion video of him. That was yeah. awesome. Maybe if you're here all the time, maybe we can, I'll bring him, they can have a little fun. Oh yeah, yeah, definitely, yeah. Um, hopefully, yeah, my dog will want to play with yours. I mean, he's, mo my dog, in the beginning, he used to like to play with other dogs a lot, but now he's like more into the toys and stuff. <laughs> That's, yeah, hunting, all that kind of stuff. Yeah, mine, mine is, uh, he's iffy. He's iffy, he's both. But five days a week would definitely get yeah, all that I'm excess try, energy the, out of him. Uh, okay, yeah, the walkie dog. Walkie okay, dog. so here's the thing with the walkie dog. If you're going to bike them on the street, you know, the hard pavement, mm -hmm. then I only recommend doing it maybe twice a week. Oh, okay, okay. Just because it's pavement. Yeah. You don't yeah. want your dog, you know, injuring his joints because he's running on pavement constantly. Yeah. You know, think of it like a, a basketball player, like in the NBA. Like how they don't play, they usually don't play back-to-back -back nights. They take days off because running back and forth on that court yeah. 
will like mess up, you know, your joints and everything like that. So yeah, at most, usually I will only do it two, at the max, three times a week. Okay, okay. That's it, just because I don't want him running on pavement, you know, mile after mile. And like the max distance that I will do is maybe about three or four miles, that's it. Okay. I'll limit, I mean, he can go way further. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because the furthest we've gone, we bike from, like right up the street here, all the way to Santa Fe Dam. Oh, wow. And back, and that's like eight miles. And round he, trip. did he get tired? No, he ran the entire way. Oh my goodness. Pulling me. I could have Pulling I me, imagine so. Why. So the only thing, the only place where he didn't pull me was, if you've been to up Santa hill. Fe Dam, it's oh, up that hill. It's yeah. really steep, yeah. So I needed help, but we rode down that hill, and that yeah. was that was kind of scary because yeah, just that extra free. Speed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he had to run extra fast going down the hill. He's so handsome. Yeah. Yeah, I always get excited when I see GSP because like we got him not knowing. Yeah. And oh wow. <laughs> Wow. We got him not knowing. We went to go get a smog and yeah. he ended up in our car. <laughs> what? And they're like, do you want to wow. buy him? And at the time, we're like, eh, why not? And okay. he grew up and we're like, oh, wow. So you say you work as a groomer at a vet or where? No, at a grooming salon. Grooming salon, yeah. okay. I work okay. at a grooming salon. I work That's at two good. grooming salons right now. Oh, okay. One and one, oh, wow. Um, in La Puente. Okay, you're busy all the time. Last <laughs> thing about GSP? <laughs> Pretty low maintenance when it comes to grooming. Yeah, yeah, I can take him yeah. to take a little bath, a little yeah. but I love to de-shed right. him because he has his white coat sheds a lot. Okay. His brown coat doesn't, but his his uh, white coat you sheds. You know what's you know what's interesting is so I had a GSP before him and that GSP shed almost not at all. Oh. And then him, he, he sheds. sheds. Not much. Do you feed them the same thing? Yeah, I feed them the same thing. Yeah. Um Yeah, they they were just different because like my old GSP could lay in the same place. And it would take like a week before you started to see some hair. Oh. Him, all it takes is like a couple of days or whatever. Yeah, and mine should so it. much. But my theory yeah. is he has the, more white. Okay. And white gets like more sunburned. Okay. So it's a little bit more prone to getting. Because okay. his brown doesn't shed at all. It's always his white. You know, you know what's weird too? Okay. I never read anything about this. But my old GSP that I had. He had like a, I'm trying to think of what you call it. He had a, you know how like uh, alligators and crocodiles, how they have that, that clear lid that will go over their eyes oh, okay, okay. when they like, when they swim or whatever, uh -huh. that clear lid, that clear membrane. Mm -hmm. My old GSP had that. Oh, really? Yeah, he had a clear membrane. Oh, what the heck? Yeah, <laughs> so, and the way I discovered it is, he would sleep and sometimes his eyes would open and you would see the membrane, the clear membrane, and then the membrane would like slide back down. Oh. Yeah, and I'd never and you never notice it on him? I don't I'm not sure if oh he my has God, it or I will not. Take a look at because that. sometimes my old GSP would actually sleep with his eyes open. Mm. His yeah, eyes his see. eyes would be open and you would see the membrane. Oh. A clear membrane. And I think if I remember right. The clear membrane went from the bottom to the top and then like say he started to like wake up and then it would slide down oh, yeah crazy. so he had on both on eyes I'm, I'm gonna look at his eyes now it's yeah crazy. it's it's Was so he bizarre the same color? yeah yeah he looked basically he looks exactly like my old one oh, okay. yeah yeah i mean yeah there's differences because they say no gsps their coats no, no, no two no. are ever the same. Yeah, no. But his is very Their similar to my old one. always very different. Right. Or like something. Right. Yeah, my I've never I've seen something similar, but not exactly. And like on mine, yeah. he he has a heart shaped spot. Okay. So okay. Wow. Kind of like I could tell the difference wow. if we put wow. two and two together. But they do. I think their faces all kind of look the same. Their yeah. little eyes and their okay. faces. Okay. <laughs> well. You say you don't have a bike. Look into yeah. a bike. Christmas is coming. So yeah, it's true. Look, like in, look into a bike. Usually a mountain bike is great with them. And then look into the walkie dog. Walkie dog is only like maybe like 20 something, maybe $30 okay. yeah, at the I'll most. Yeah, look into it. But I can exercise him. He needs exercise. Oh, yeah, definitely. Like yeah, that'll solve all your problems. Yeah. yeah. Well, he's calmed down on the barking. It's only like okay. someone is coming or the ambulance yeah. coming. You know what? He doesn't really bark. No, I know. No. I haven't really heard him. Does he howl? No. Is he oh, he howls? He, yeah, he howls. Is he hard of hearing? No. 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 
You know what? My old one, my old one, my old one didn't howl for the ambulance either, and neither does he. Yeah, so. he howls, and it's funny because we'll hear him howling, and we don't hear any ambulance. And okay. then, like, a few minutes later, you'll hear yeah. them, and he'll continue to howl. So I'm that's like, oh, that's cool. You can hear them, like, really, really far then. Right. Um, but yeah, he howls at ambulance, but now it's like when someone, like, approaches or is in the yard, okay. he'll bark. Okay. But wow. Or a cat. <laughs> Yeah. But other than that, like, not he's calmed down a, a lot. Okay. We put the e collar on him once or twice. Okay. Yeah. And after that, he kind of was like, oh. Yeah. What I okay, so what I recommend the e collar for is basically for because you know they're hunting dogs, strong prey drive, is that if they see something that they want, you're going to need that e collar to get them yeah, back. Yeah, that's what the person we got him from. They're like, he, since he's a hunting dog, like, he can never take the hunting on the hunting dog. Right. Right. So it's. It's gonna happen. I would never. He wanted to off, uh, off leash train. Okay. And he was like, I don't. I personally, it would take a lot of work, and I don't think they could never be off leash train. Right, like, right. If they see a squirrel or something. Yes, they're it's gone. Their instinct, and they're gone. They're right. Gone. Yep. So I wouldn't try yeah. it. And I was like, okay. <laughs> okay. Well, it was nice talking thanks with you. What's your name? Liz. Liz, I'm Jeff. Nice to meet you. Hopefully, we'll see you and Whiskey here. Yes, I'll take a look at your channel. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Bodie, come on, we gotta wrap this up now. Bodie, let's go now. No. Bodie, come on, let's go up. Up. Hey, go ahead, sit. Sit. No. No. Okay, caught him in the middle of getting down. Bodie, come on, no. Let's go up now. Sit. Shh. Hey. Sit. Sit. Stay. Okay, so it seems like it's just a slow day at the dog park. Maybe a few people trickling in. Now it's later, which is kind of odd because it's getting California cold out here. Hey, no. No. Sit. Hey, sit. Stay. Yeah, we thank you for watching. Uh, yeah, this video went on a bit longer because... Hopefully you found that conversation interesting, but hopefully uh, that that young lady she brings her uh, brings her dog up here and uh, yeah, as long as she gets his ex exercise, it'll be fine. But thank you so much for watching. Hey, sit. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you can, please give the thumbs up. Also leave a comment or question down below if you make it kind of short. We'll try to include it in a future video. Also, uh, if you aren't subscribed, please subscribe. Make sure your notification bell is on because no, more videos are coming soon. Uh, big thank you to everyone who watches the ads and all. Hey, no, no, no. Okay, come on, let's go, Bodhi. Up, up, sit, sit. Okay, gonna have to work on Bodhi's stubbornness. But yeah, thank you to everyone who watches the ads. Hey, no, no, stay, stay. Thank you to everyone who watches the ads and helps Bodhi. And also everyone who's played Bodhi's playlist. That truly helps also. And then a very big thank you to every, everyone who's pressed the thanks button and has donated to Bodhi. We truly appreciate it so much. And before we go, we want to read off a few names of people who watched previous videos and left comments. Uh, let's see here. It's getting kind of dark out here. Patricia Proctor, Sandra H., uh, Corey Fazo, Praying Mantis. Lorna McKenzie, Scott Barrows, Diane, Anna G, Latanya Smith, Brenda Carlton, Cheryl B. Thank you all so much for watching. So until next time, we hope we'll see you on the next episode of Bodie's World. We apologize for this video going so long. But thank you so much for watching, and we hope we'll see you on the next episode. Everyone stay safe and take care.